and I'm back. So we're ready to enter the Hakona system. So something tells me this is gonna be a ground mission. So let's sit back and enjoy as I muddle through. Oh, fun times. Obviously, this station isn't as abandoned as Intel suspected. Sensors are reading several Riemann ships in the area. And that's just the ones we can spot. That station is immense. It must have taken an incredible amount of manpower and technology to build it. It's almost the size of a small moon. Sensors are reading sophisticated tachyon detection network as well as several patrolling vessels. For an abandoned station, this facility certainly has a lot of activity. We need to find a way past that sensor grid. Perhaps we can see if some of our stolen Talshar data will be of use. We must assume that if we engage the ships here, they'll notify whatever, whoever is left on the station, and, and it may become difficult to find an entry point. Okay, consult officers. Okay, communications satellite. All the construction work out here must have required the use of a lot of worker shuttles and a communication booster for them. We might be able to dig up some information about the station's communication network if we can find a subspace relay satellite. Derelict ship. Sensors are reading a small derelict worker ship near some of the asteroid debris. We might find some helpful clues there. Still debris. The material requirements to make a base of that size must have been enormous. There is a lot of still debris here. Probably remnants of asteroids or fragments from moons that were mine for raw materials. We might be able to do something useful with them. One of the large asteroids has a navigational beacon. The Romulans must have placed it here for some reason. So apparently there's Riemens here. Nebula. There's a small patch of nebula gases near station. The static discharges in the area are highly intense. We may be able to cover an approach to the station by traveling through the nebula. This would be risky because the nebula will cloud our technical displays and interfere with our shields, but it would almost certainly keep the station sensor grid from detecting us until we were right on top of them. And Talshiar codes. We have a lot of old data from the Talshiar, given our history of fighting and infiltrating them. Since it looks like Talshiar haven't been here in a while, they probably haven't changed their old codes. There is an old communications relay satellite nearby. We could try sending an access code through there and see if we can gain legitimate access. Okay, so this is asteroid, derelict ship, and surface boost relay. We'll go in that direction first then. Okay. Yeah, because fuck that. We're gonna stay cloaked, it may give us an extra bit of. You know, wow, that thing is big. Whoa, 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 whoa. Shouldn't that be right like... Ah, down there. That's cheaty. It sucks that you can go straight down in this game that's not truly 3D space like it is in Star Trek Bridge Commander, a game which I may in the future play, even though it's a bit older. Okay. Indications are that this vessel was refitted for asteroid mining. Apparently a containment failure in the engine correlated to a massive radiation surge. The engine went into emergency shutdown, but all of the couplings and injectors were burned out. The crew probably died due to instant radiation burns. Looks like the vessel was stripped for parts and left derelict. Okay, so far so good. So... Let's go looking for that satellite. There it is. Let's interact with that first. Okay, tactical. Subspace traffic analysis. Let's see. Typical Type 21A communication booster satellite. Fortunately for us, it's still active. Unfortunately, it's heavily encrypted. Traffic analysis shows that the network routes its communication through a series of nodes at the station's dorsal peaks. If we flood them with excessive signal, it would cause the network to be unable to handle any signal traffic, which would give us a brief window to slip in. 
The alerts wouldn't go off because the station would never get the signal. We'll still have to avoid the patrols and make sure we don't get too close to the station until we make the broadcast. Romulan, use Talshar codes. Okay, so bad news. Looks like the station is requesting a three signature encrypted key. Try different codes until you have the keys that match all three parts of the finished code. Okay. So, which one would be closest? Don't know. Start with the first. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Most interesting. So it changes. Oh, okay, that did it. Very well. Okay, that is an asteroid nearby. We're gonna cloak and we're gonna go and talk to that. Oh, that's a Mogai. Nice. We used to fly one of those once upon a time. Until we had a warbird. Which we left for the sake shuttle. I'm sad now. There it is. Oh, that looks different. Like shiny. Scan large asteroid. The warbird is out of range, luckily. The asteroid is unusually large and it was clearly made during the station's construction. It was probably used for raw materials. It's like most of the debris here. Pergium, blah blah blah. Further analysis. Okay. Let's cut a piece off then. Did we? I think we did. Can I cloak yet? Material analysis, okay. Just gonna park here. Bit of residual energy. Just a rock. Okay, so I would need to be an engineering officer to get additional information from that. Well, let's cloak and go for it. Let's get inside that thing. Oh, but that is fucking huge. Wow, that's impressive. That's really, really impressive. Station sensor hub jammed. Let's get inside. Okay, enter station, we're in. Good, excellent. Well, that was easy. Now let's go and shoot some things, I suppose. Picking up some unusual, unusual energy readings. We'll need to explore the accessible interior areas and see what we can find. Looks like there's another access conduit across from us. We'll have to think three-dimensionally in here. Sensor readings are also picking up a few scattered life signs. Okay. Ooh. Oh, oh, fuck my life. I have to fly inside this thing, wow. Well, okay. So let's head on down. I suppose... Yay. Nothing here. Okay, so some of my duty assignments are getting completed. I may have to check those in a bit. So, here, right? Or is it upwards some? I think it's upwards some. Come on. Wow, this is huge. I would expect it to be, well, not this hollow. I mean, a central core with all this I suppose there's plenty of place for them to build a ship, but I would expect more of a dedicated dry dock area then. Okay, so I need to get through here. There's apparently a way through, or there's supposed to be somewhere. Like where? 
I don't get it. Okay, not up here apparently. Suppose it must be down there then, huh? Please don't rage at me. I'll be sad if you do. You don't want me to be sad, do you? I'm stuck in a wall. Wow. Okay, so it's right there. Supposedly. There must be a way through somewhere. Find a passage deeper into the vault. Okay, let's try here. There may be a way through somehow. Wow, security alerts. Fuck my life. Some security systems. Great. Light tractor beam turret, eh? And a light disruptor turret. Let's kill those. Oh, they're not here. They're down there. I suppose the way deeper must be down there, then? Okay, kill it. Oh, this must be it. Okay. Fine. Okay. Okay, I get it now. Meh, can't hit me. I need to get some shuttle weapons and stuff, cause... Scan bulkhead doors. Blah blah blah, massive doors. Try security keys. Okay. Wait, what? Scanter debris. Code block 6750. Interesting. There was another turret nearby though. Like here? I think it was here. Well, never mind. Okay. Input key 6750. All right, we have to rotate them. Okay, so I killed that key. Let's find some more. Okay, more keys for me. Well, this is weird. It's just weird. Since the flying up and down thing sucks so much in this game, it's really kind of annoying this mission I would say because I mean Jesus the maneuvering system for ships is it's okay I suppose but it's also less than ideal I know I know I know I complain and I complain and I complain okay what is this it's probably nothing at least it's not triggering anything. So maybe on that big spiky thing there. Come on, let me scan it. Security node, scan it. Come on. Okay. That's an empty residence apparently. 9904. Nice. Okay. Life signs in some of those living quarters. Held inhabitants. Who who are you and what do you want? You're not with Toshar, are you? Dangerous energy readings. The military mostly pulled out of the station after the, the supernova. I've seen a few people here and there, but mostly it's been quiet. My guess is that nobody wants to try and keep the station supplied while the Empire was falling to pieces. The military couldn't use it as an effective fleet base, but small groups could scrape out a living. If this station is derelict, blah blah blah. Well, the military may still be strong, survivors from the Tetavar homeworld are still recovering. Those with powerful allies have fled to more secure colony plans, but common people like me have to make do as best we can. 
without the supplies and protection of the military or the aid of our fleets. We survive where we can and take what we must. It is a miserable, wretched existence. What do you want? Okay. Shield generator, crate of provisions and medical supplies. Suppose I can afford that. Medical supplies, provisions and shield generators. There are your supplies. Very well, as far as I know, this station was a research facility for various illicit technologies. I'm not sure what kinds of secrets the military kept here, but some of us have scavenged up useful components or even weapons. The station has its own power supply, although many areas are dangerous or secured against intruders, or under the control of the Remans now. Lhar, one of the other survivors living here, said that he saw some kind of autonomous cybernetic technology closer to the station... Shit! Borg! Closer to the station core. I don't know what that would be, but he said it looked dangerous. Shvara, a doctor, said that this area was still safe for habitation, but further out, one of the pylons was the dangerous amounts of radiation. To reach the deeper parts of the station, you will need to bypass the containment force field. It uses a cycling time security check, so if you have a key code sequence, you must synchronize your key with the check. I have personal override code that will bypass the synchronization check. I, I will give you the data. I can take you with us. No, I have responsibilities to people here. We are looking for ways to build new homes and we must all face these challenges best our strengths allow. I hope that one day a new Romulan civilization arises under the glory of a new sun. For today, I will make a future out of these pieces of our past. Jolan Trua, Sub Admiral. Okay. Hail Shuttle. Interesting. Well, let's get this door open then, shall we? Uh, excuse me? Is this the wrong door? Oh, I have to go to an override thingy, apparently, or what? It's scan containers. Okay. No, 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 go back, go back, go back. Come on. Don't be like that. Scan containers. Microgravity storage containers. Since this interior space has no artificial gravity, they just left to float here. There is an assortment of construction materials and personal effects, including personal access code key. Okay. And... Find a new security code to open the bulkhead. Alright, so... Let's head to it. Oh, here I am. Open up, bitch. No. Okay, try security keys. Okay, 994. Got it. I suppose we are in. Come on. Jesus. Get the fuck out of there. Okay, there it is. It kind of opened a tiny bit. Okay. And we are through. That is a plasma thingy. Ouch. Let's not go into that. Through. Scan containers. What's in those? Borg? No weapons or unusual energy signatures there. Examine abundant fighters. Scan EPS conduits. Keep an eye out for energy discharges. Wow, that's wonderful. Exactly what I want. And there are enemies ahead. Apparently. Oh, turrets. Great. Proceed deeper into the vault. Okay. And fire. Fire torpedo. Oh, those look nasty. 
That's just a force field, isn't it? Oh, 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 oh. Taking a pounding, taking a pounding. Go on out of fire, you bitch. There we go. And that tractor beam as well. There we go. Minus four. So how do I proceed deeper into this? Through here? Okay, interesting. Just get through quickly enough. Yeah, fuck you. Okay, the door opens and closes as well. That's fun. <sighs> Come on. And we're through. Okay. Above us. That's a Borg sphere. The Romulans must have used this base as a storage facility and research area for Borg technology. That thing looks like it's maybe live. Okay. Electrical discharges, probably from ionization leaking from the sphere and the research nodes. We should be cautious about flying too close to them. Great. Let's head up and see about that sphere. Okay. Scan the Borg Sphere. Why is it rotating like that? Do Borg Spheres rotate like that on the inside? The Borg Sphere is dormant, like it's been put to sleep. It's not a source of the strange readings that the long-range scans detected. Looks like the Sphere's hooked into part of the local system network. Oh shit, that's dangerous. We should be able to exit through the other doors now, probably a safety precaution to keep them locked. So... Oh, no, 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 let's not. Let's not get zapped by that, shall we? Just saying. Okay, so where's the... There? Where's the door? Ah, there it is. Excellent. No! Damn you, shuttlecraft! Why you got to be so annoying? And yay, more tractor beam stuff. Kill it! Kill it! Yeah, is that one to torpedo it? GG tractor beam turret, GG. Go, 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 go. Just go. Are there any more? No, they're not. Okay, I'm through. Yeah, I moved my abilities to, well, here. Just cause. Seemed like a good idea. And go, 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 go. Quiet in this area, too quiet. Well, there is no sound in space. Dumbass. Drum Queen. Unusual energy readings from the other side of that pillar, sir. Well, what's on the other side of that pillar? Toleron reactor. Toleron is bad, right? That's one of the bad things. Okay, scan Toleron reactor. Sir, this is it. This was a weapons lab, an industrial research and fabrication facility where the Romulans built Teleron weapons. If the Remans have infiltrated this base, they must be trying to secure those weapons. Oh shit, they already nuked the planet with this stuff. Seriously? Oh fuck, we don't need this shit. Who are you? Does it really matter? Call me Obasek, if a name is that important to you. Oh, what are you doing here? 
make use of this station to further my agenda. Your presence, however, is a bit more curious. I expect that you are operating under the shroud of Empress Sela, whether you realize it or not. Well, let's try to bullshit him. Neither of us is supposed to be here, I suspect. Never rely on the noble intentions of spies and thieves, Captain. And you and I are either one or the other. Since we are on similar footing, the least we can do is show courtesy. I appreciate your level headedness in an unfortunate situation. As you must have surmised, though, I have already located the Thaleron weapons that I need. One of my ships has completed transporting them. And soon we shall make our first strike against the Romulans in our war for liberation. Sadly, we cannot trust any outside powers to ally with us. Our freedom must be won by our own hands. Oh shit. They're crazy freedom fighters. Awesome. The Federation has always promoted freedom. While I cannot condone the use of Teleron weapons, I can empathize with your flight with your plight. The use of Teleron weapons will have lasting repercussions. I will deal with the future when it arrives. For me, there is no tomorrow until my people are free. However, I respect your commitment to your position. It's a shame we are at cross purposes. Well, fuck. I am afraid our time is at an end. My associates have already finished loading the Thaleron weapons that we need, and I have other operations to manage. I think we both know what happens now. When your death be quick. Yeah, I took myself off of full impulse there to power my weapons properly while I'm still in dialogue because I'm just a douche that way. Continue. Secure research data. Or not. Oh really? Just two fighters? You think that's enough to fuck me up? You sadly underestimate my power. Whoa, maybe it is enough actually. A pretty... Damn, they're pretty strong. Yes, quantum absorption this. Come on, fire you damn... Torpedo! Come on, there we go. Minus one, okay, we're a bit better off now. Since it's just one on one. What is that? I fire on my mark, debuff him. There we go, and secure research data. Schematic single cannon. Wow. Yeah, I really needed that. And there's a m another research node. Come on, turn around, princess. Go for it. Yeah, I'm gonna take all of this. Secure research data. Because. Well, some schematics that may be useful. And now we have to escape, apparently, in the... Back the way we came. Which will lead to more fighting. I should have put some better equipment on this fighter. Well, shuttle. Okay. Those are just turrets. That's easy enough pickings. Okay, and door locking mechanism. So much for that. Equalize those shields, put us back at full power, and get through. Eh, there we go. And flee! Flee! I sh actually, I should be moving while cloaked. Shouldn't I? That would allow me to really just escape a lot more easily. Come on, die, you scum! How about you? You ready to die, bitch? Yes, one good hit while he's cloaking or two it really takes down that hull. Now let's finish you off first. Just cause. Did you just torpedo me, you fucker? Oh no, you didn't! Oh no, you didn't. Did I just disable my weapons? Come on. 
Yes, cloak. Put your shields offline just as I'm firing a torpedo at you. That is most wise. Ah, there he is. Minus one. Okay. Why can't I cloak? I can't cloak, but not in combat. Okay, let's mosey on out. We Well, fuck. Guess we got caught on that, huh? Oh shit, is that a warbird? That is a fucking warbird, isn't it? I have to wait until my thingy heals anyway. As in re my cloak comes back online. That's what I meant. I'm not fighting that thing. I mean the warbird. I'm not fighting it. I'm totally not fighting it. I'm just gonna mosey on past it. Because seriously, if it's an actual warship, no way I'm fighting that. And cloak. Engage cloaking device. Let's try and sneak. Oh, it's a heavy warbird. That's a no-no. That's a no-no. Oh, fuck. That, that door is locked. Wait a second. I'm gonna park next to this. I'm gonna let him... Yep, this is as good as it gets. Okay, full impulse. Flee! Crap, there's fighters. And we can't cloak while we're in combat, apparently, in this piece of trash. Come on, kill it. There we go. And keep running. Keep going. And you are free to keep following me if you wish. Or not. Oh, he got caught in that. Nice. Yeah. Oh, and we got dropped out of full impulse with that. Well, suckage. Power to shield. Let's regen those. Just everyday sucky shields. Gonna keep them online so I can actually regen them. Yes, energy discharges, fun times. Cloak! What can we... Tvaro Light Warbird. I don't think I can defeat that. But the way out is right... here, somewhere. If only I could discover it. Up there, near the top, that's where we came in. Come on. There? Is that it? Or, no, I have to go buy that warbird, don't I? Because why would anything ever be easy, right? Do I have to actually fight it? I'm not in a position to fight a warbird. Even a light one. Especially since I don't have a warbird of my own. All I have this shitty shuttle with the most minimal stuff yes exit the station come on exit we must stop him from absconding but we'll do that in the next video so I'm splitting it here I'll see you in a second